Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another Shoe Snob Up Close Detail videos. Here we are with a newer pair of Paul Parkman boots, as you can see. Let's, uh, let's jump right into it. Let's dive right into it. Here I am mixing words. Um, yes, so this is one of my latest pairs, Paul Parkman uh, boots, should I say, shoes. And this was actually a collaboration between the two of us in the sense that they wanted to do another unboxing video, but I wanted to show something unique. So we put our minds together and created this uh, kind of really unique wingtip shoe boot, Norwegian, well, multiple colors, all kinds of things going on here. But they wanted to keep it on this model. So in my previous unboxing videos, we had the shoe version which you can just see here taking away that suede you got the shoe version and that's been a huge model for them so i said let's do something unique let's make that into a boot and i wanted to add a little bit of suede as you know i like to do kind of multiple materials and textures so yeah this is what we came up with i really liked one of their burgundy patinas that i think is so cool with these real subtle hints of blue in there unfortunately i won't lie this camera does not show the color as pretty as it should be uh, and as pretty as it looks in person um, but at least you can see kind of the detailing there i love blue i love burgundy as you can see we got blue lining here really soft uh, blue lining which is really nice we got the blue detail in the norwegian welt um, and yeah and just a really beautifully finished shoe. So one thing that's really nice about Paul Parkman is our shoes come with a great shine. Uh, I think that's important. Uh, there's nothing more blah than a shoe unshined. So having a nice shine to finish that, uh, especially when you have a nice patina there, is an important detail. So yeah, let's take a look a little bit more at the other details. Paul Parkman likes to do qu quite high heels. Um, a little bit higher than my own personal taste. Uh, this is I tend to like about an inch and an eighth at the most. This looks like a close to an inch and a half. So definitely a slightly higher heel. Not overly high though. Just higher than me personal my personal liking. But that does give you know a nice. Let me see. Sorry, with the phone you don't see. It gives a nice kind of sloped angle there for a tight beveled. Well, this is actually not beveled at all, but a tight narrowed waist. It's actually got a straight finish, so they don't bevel it. Um, I do believe that's because it's just cemented here. I'm not sure if they're stitching below, to be honest. Obviously, you got the Norwegian Welt 180s from joint to joint. Um, yeah, and everything about the Paul Parkman shoes are pretty clean. I do notice that the finishing has gotten better since my first pairs. Uh, it is a lot cleaner. I'm not really noticing any kind of roughness that I saw in the beginning pairs so they're definitely stepping up that work uh, I mean a little bit here on the coloring but again it's not a big deal um, again I've, I've always said I don't think you go to Paul Parkman to get the perfect flawless G&G style shoe you go to them for cool design and cool models and great colors and, and doing something a bit out of the box, which is what they specialize in. They really like to do things that are unique, that are different. You you don't really see stuff like this from other brands, um, not any relevant brands anyway. Some older brands that don't put out shoes anymore, some Italian brands. But yeah, very cool. The last is a bit pointy, a bit more pointed than I personally like. If that was slightly rounded here, I would I would definitely... That would definitely be something I would wear. Um, again, um, I'm, I wear skinny jeans, so something that pointed makes me look a little bit funny. But uh, nice, nice boot nonetheless. Great finishing. Nice kind of factory style patina. When I say factory style, it could be one person doing it, but within a factory. It's not a patina artist, so to speak. It's a factory production in the sense, again, I'm kind of, Chewing my words here. I say factory production, but I know Paul Parkman really makes them kind of pair by pair. It's almost a made-to-order company. But anyway, let's look at more of the details. A beautiful kind of teal-colored sole. What's funny is this actually looks a lot more blue in the camera and a lot more green in real life. But uh, 
I love the nailing on the toe there. They do some really great nail work. Also on the heels, uh, excuse me, on the points, the, uh, the ball points of the foot. So these three places are actually the fragile points. So this is where leather can easily open up, hence why they have the nail in those three places. Every now and then you get leather opening up on the sides, but uh, the weak points are kind of in the places where your, your foot hits and presses off of the pavement. So they're smart to put it in those three as opposed to just a toe. Just a toe is the best place. And then these are equal added protection. Got a fiddle back waist here. Um, the little black detailing again so you can see just little you know they're not spending their time to make a perfect line again you don't go to them if you want that super flawless kind of japanese look perfection you go to them because they're making cool designs sturdy quality this is you know this is a sturdy boot it's a heavy boot it's a light boot but heavy in the sense that it's not flimsy it's not going to uh it's not going to break down on you easily it's a Nice thick sole, geez, it's like a six millimeter sole, so and a six millimeter midsole, so you got you got some strength there. Um, yeah, great boot. I think they're really cool. Again, I'd prefer a rounder toe, but I know some people like the pointy stuff. And yeah, let's see what else we cook up next with Paul Parkman. Definitely do check them out if you have been interested. Again, they make a solid shoe. The uh, I can I can also see that the quality of the leather has been upgraded over the years, so that's good to see. The suede is actually very soft, very nice. Um, so yeah, it's really it's a nice touch, especially on your ankles there. For those for those of you that got sensitive ones, you have nice plush suede there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed checking out this very unique collaborative boot that Paul Parkman and I put together. Do stay tuned for more. Wishing everybody well.